Hey TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Well, it is Friday. Thank God we made it to Friday, huh? It's been an intense week. A good week for me, but just an intense week. Anyways, it's Friday, and I just wanted to spend a few minutes with you guys. Um, first of all, i got to remember to say this. I always forget. Thank you. Thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We had such a good time. We had Vlog Thursday. I went out on Had an Adventure. That was a lot of fun. Today, I've just been at home all day doing readings and working on my house and just being doing stuff i got to take care of. But I want to come and just, as I said, spend a few minutes with you guys. Um, anyways, I've got to show you my newest art treasure. Check this out. Here is my latest art acquisition. Now, this is not one of my paintings, but it is a print by one of my most favorite artists, Mark Rothko. This is a famous painting of his called Violet, Red, and Green, and it was done in 1951. And I bought it recently and had it framed. Um, a little bit of glare here. Let's see if I can move the lights out a little bit. Um, but as you see and see, it's a 24 by 36 size, and I think it's pretty close to the actual size of the original one. Um, but it's just a very beautiful color. It's got a lot of soft violets and blues. And, and Mark uh, Rothko was an abstract expressionist. And, you know, he was one of my favorite, favorite artists here. If I go to the side, you get a little less glare. So, but uh, I wanted you guys to see this. Let's see if I can zoom in. Because when I walk up, the glare catches it. If I do it this way, yeah, that'll work. Uh, Mark Rothko, Violet, Red, and Green. 19, it's from 1951. Isn't that great? I just love it. And, you know, some people are going to say, well, Psychic Bob, why are you showing us art? I thought you are a psychic channel. But, you know, one of the things that you want to consider is that, I at least I believe, art is a spiritual experience. It's interesting. Mark Rothko, um, by birth, was Jewish. But as he grew up, he became atheist. And somebody said to him, uh, you know, what is your religion? Do you believe in a God? And he said, well, normally I would say no. He said, but something happens. He said, when I paint, I have an experience of transcendence. And he even said it felt as if he was touching on something mystical. And, you know, this points to the fact that art can be spiritual. You know, I've always said the greatest artists really are channels. And I think Mark, Mark Rothko was a channel. But uh, I thought you guys would enjoy seeing this this picture of his. I hope it comes out okay on camera. Violet, red, and green. Um, I think it's just, I love it. I put it here right above my fireplace. I may move it eventually, but for right now it's going to stay here. Um, but this is my fireplace. I've been cleaning house today. I finally got this mantle cleaned off. This is my fireplace down here in my dining room. And, um, you know, I had so much junk mail. Do you guys get junk mail? I had newspapers and junk mail stacked up on this. You know, I'm trying to be a minimalist. And one of the, the things that they say in minimalism, minimalism is to help keep your clutter down, don't have surfaces you can put stuff on. So I've been getting rid of a lot of the surfaces in my house because I had like tables and, you know, counters everywhere. And I'm really stripping it down now. So what I got here is... Um, top of my fireplace, I actually put this top on. It's a mantle, a mirrored top on the mantle. It's actually the mantle's a little shorter, but this is a, a mirror. I found it fits nicely, so I got a mirrored top. And on it, I've got my Waterford crystal. Many of you know I'm a collector of fine Waterford crystal. And um, you can see this. This uh, bowl here is part of the, what do they call it, the uh, Lismore pattern. It's one of their famous patterns. And this is a large bowl. It's a Grant Bowl, and then I have another Lismore over here. And I'm crazy about my, my cut glass, my crystal, and i got my two lamps flanking it here. Um, but anyways, yeah, I've been working on cleaning house today after doing readings, and I had to put this art poster up here, so I hung it on the wall. might be a little crooked. I may have to fix it still, but anyways, it's, it's doing the job for now. But uh, anyways, let me just move this other lamp out just a little bit so I don't have a little so much glare. I think no matter what I do, I'm going to get some glare here. Uh, but this seems to be a better angle for it here. So there you go. There is Mark Rothko, my newest Mark Rothko piece. 
Anyways, tell me in the in the, the box below, guys, in the info box, or in the uh, comments section. Excuse me, I can't talk today. Um, have you ever seen this painting? Maybe you're familiar with it. Uh, maybe you wrote a thesis on it. I'd love to hear anything you know about it. Um, it's interesting because it's one of his earlier abstract pieces when he started doing this style. Uh, it wasn't until the little few years after that, like mid-50s, that he really took off. But uh, what I like about this is that you can see that he's starting to acquire his unique style that later he became incredibly famous for. Um, I just love this. I think it's beautiful. I love all the subtle colors. In fact, I'll go a little closer here. Um, let's see if I can get it here in a way that you won't get too much glare. But if you look into the violet section, it's not just a block of uh, it's layers. And this is the wonderful part of his work is that it's got gold in it. It's got reds, oranges. It's very subtle. And as you go down to the green, even what appears to be a green bar, once you get closer to it, you realize that it's got subtle shades of gold and red and violet even mixed into that, and even down to the lower section. So as I said, let me see. It's hard. It's really hard to get at thing because the glass is reflected. But back here again, sometimes with Rothko, you know, Rothko, Rothko wants you to stand up close to his paintings. But you can also get this effect, I think, from a little farther back. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, I just hope it doesn't fall. <laughs> I'm never good at hanging things. I'm just not Mr. Home Home de de Depot sort of guy. So I hang stuff. If it falls in the middle of the night, it's going to break my crystal. Let's hope not. Anyways, um, but there you go. You know, the last time I showed you my artwork, you guys really enjoyed it. And I had a lot of fun doing that. And I'm actually starting to work on another painting. Uh, haven't got it underway fully yet. And so I'm still getting some of the pieces for it. But I've already planned and sketched it. And uh, in the coming days, I'll show you my new painting that I'm working on. So we'll have that. But today I want to come and show another artist, uh, which is Mark Rothko. Great influence on me. Anyways, I'm going, to, I'm going to keep this short. I was really tired today. I've been doing a lot of work, but I love you guys. And listen, if you want to get on my schedule for a reading, a lot of you have been calling. I'd love to, to get you on. Give me a call at my office number, 703-825-3929, and we'll get you on. Or you can write to me, uh, and my email and phone number will be in the box below this video. Uh, write to me at readings at robert-hickman.com. That will be below. Um, and, you know, we'll get you on. You know, private reading, it's a full hour, you and me, one-on-one, -on -one, and we cover everything. A lot of you have sat with me, and you know, we, we cover everything. Past, present, future, spirit guides, messages from deceased loved ones. Uh, we look at your life mission, why you're here, all your karmic links, and I answer all of your questions. So I cover a lot in the hour, and uh, it's a full hour, and yeah, we cover a lot. So give me a call, 703-825-3929. Anyways, tell me in the box below, what are your thoughts on Mark Rothko? You like this painting? Uh, I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, we'll see you back here tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Saturday. Oh, we got our spiritualist class and seance. You don't want to miss it. Be here tomorrow. I love you guys. Blessed be. We'll see you then.